So if I look a little funny, my face right now is baking just underneath my eyes, my forehead, around my nose, and underneath my chin, just to let you guys know. So I just went ahead and did my foundation before this because this is all about highlights. Let's first try out this Lumi Glotion. This is in the shade 901 Fair Glow. So this is like the first one I believe they have. So it comes out, it looks like that. And I'm just going to spread it around. Holy moly, I applied a lot. I was not expecting that. So this is pretty much just like a shimmering lotion. Gives you a little bit of a luminosity to your skin. Let me really blend it in. Get on my arms. Okay, so it definitely looks intense as soon as you apply it, but once you blend it out, it's pretty much just like a slight sheen. It's nothing really intense. That's nice if you want to apply this just on your legs or just like as a lotion all over your body just to give your skin a little bit of a glow. Um, you can probably also apply this underneath your makeup. Um, it will probably add a little bit more glow to your face after you apply all your makeup on top of it. I don't know if you guys can tell a difference, but it's just a light sheen. It's nothing intense. So I definitely like this just by rubbing it into my skin. It feels really nice, hydrating, and it looks really pretty. So I give this an A+. I definitely would recommend this. Next is the Glow Boosting Drops. And again, this is in the shade 507 Daybreak. They do have a darker shade of this, but I just decided to get this shade. This is pretty much just like a liquid highlighter. If you've been following me for a while, you would know that I don't necessarily use these. I just don't... I feel like they don't make my makeup look that good. I don't know why. Um, I know it's like so pretty when other girls apply it and I'm like, oh my god, why doesn't it look like that on my skin? <laughs> but I think they're so pretty. So I just want to show you the color really quickly. Just do one tiny drop because I feel like these are intense. Yeah, holy moly. So that's that right there. It's so beaming and intense. I'm very um, impressed with this product. Holy crap. So I'm just going to take like one drop. You really don't need a lot. I'm going to take one little tiny drop. And I don't know if I should apply it with my fingers or my sponge. I think I'm just going to go right in with my sponge. So take a little bit. Oh, I'm scared. This is a really pretty color. I actually really like this color. I'm just going to apply it on my cheeks. I didn't set this part of my face just because I knew I was going to be testing this out. So that's one side. It just kind of looks like a streak on my face. That I think that's what I don't like about these is they're very like streaky and they don't really blend very well. I mean it's pretty, right? I think it's pretty. It just doesn't look as natural. So I'm going to try the other side and I'm just going to dot some on instead of going right in with my beauty blender. And then let me try and blend it out with my finger instead. Wow, that's not cool. It lifted up my foundation on that side. That's so annoying. That's actually the most annoying thing. That's like my biggest pet peeve. I just don't like liquid highlighters. I don't know what it is with me, but I like using liquid highlighters for like my shoulders and stuff. So I'm going to show you this on my shoulders because I don't like applying them to my face. I don't know why. I'm just not a big fan. So I'm just going to apply a little bit on my shoulders and rub it in. Yes. Now that is pretty. See this, you can like rub in, doesn't matter, doesn't mess up your foundation. So I definitely like this on like my body. Not so much my face. I think the next product that I want to try out is this highlighting palette. I actually really like these three colors right here. Actually, maybe even just these two colors. It looks really intriguing. And they just, I hope these are good. I'm like praying these are good because this just looks so pretty. So I'm just going to swatch one of them. I'm going to swatch this color right here. This light color. Uh-oh.
Okay, so it's not bad. I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not. It's right there. It's not the most intense highlight, but maybe it's not meant to be the most intense highlight. Maybe that's why they came out with these loose ones, but we're going to test it out. I'm going to use my highlighting brush from the um, Wet n Wild Pro line. And I'm going to dip into this color right here. That's so pretty. That looks gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Wow. I am in shock right now. That is literally stunning. I am obsessed. Um, I really want to try this loose one on this cheek, so let's dip into this a lighter shade right here. And I'm going to apply this on the tip of my nose. We are glowing to the gods right now. So I'm obsessed. I love it. So now we're going to dip into this Shimmerista. This is in the shade 505 Moonlight. It's like their lighter shade, so... This is like such a finely milled powder. You can just tell by how loose it is. So this is more of like a purple. Hmm. It's not really catching it on camera, but it definitely is more of like a iridescent color. I'm not the biggest fan of these colors. Like I love colors like this just because they complement my skin tone, my hair color, just everything so much better. <gasps> Why me? Why me? See, this is like a blue, purple, iridescent. No, no. So those are all the products that I liked and disliked. I definitely think there are some hits and misses with this collection. Definitely would try and pick these up over these two products. Also, it just depends on your personal preference of what you like in highlights. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know down below which product you like the most. And subscribe to my channel to join my S squad and to not miss out on future videos. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye loves.